Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I will go and explain about one of the Swift MT103 example. I'll try to explain as much as possible. And the rest of it, you can find it in my course videos, which you can purchase it. I'll explain about how. All right. So as you can see here, This is the example of MT103. And uh, so this example is of a direct accounting relationship who has this RMA relationship as well, right? Meaning the ordering institution can directly send this MT103 message to the beneficiary bank or the account of the beneficiary customer. So in this case, if you see this, the 59 tag is the tag of the beneficiary customer whose name is HF Jansen, right? And this is, is account number 50266. Now, when this MT103 message is sent from the bank, uh, UBS bank, which is mentioned in your block one to block two, this is the ABN Ambro, right? So this is sent from UBS Bank to ABN Ambro Bank, Amsterdam, right? And when this MT103 message is released, this message will have, this message will have some of the data. Now the data, some of them are, you know, picked up from the payment processing application, right? Like unique and transaction transaction reference number, uh, transaction reference number, and then bank operation code, value date value date anyway it will be picked up from the uh, instructed message from the customer whether it be the corporate customer or be the individual customer who has used any of the banking channel to initiate the transaction right so those value date would be uh, picked up from there and then interbank settlement amount and currency is again totally dependent upon the bank if you see here in your tag 32a euro 1960.97 this amount is nothing but this amount is going to be actually settled between the two banks. And this is calculated based on some parameters. And if you want to learn about the parameters, you can purchase our Swift payment course where I have explained in deep about how the payment is initiated and settled end to end, which includes your account posting at the center side. What happens, what is the debit amount that happens at the center side account posting validations and how the payment message is, is interest and is sent out to the beneficiary bank via the SWIFT and what is acknowledgement, non-acknowledgement messages, which we, which as a bank, you receive it, whether if it is processed successfully, then you will receive this acknowledgement. If not, then non-acknowledgement message. And what is that message type and how does that look like? If you want to understand, you can anyway subscribe or buy our codes. So in this case, if you see here, we have this different details exchange uh, rate is not available because the currency in 32A and 33 remains the same euro, that's why. Now 50K is your ordering customer details, 53B is used here. Now 53B is generally is used when they have this account in the uh, beneficiary banks side basically this is this is to inform that the beneficiary bank to utilize by this nostro account which is at your bank and then debit that amount with this 32 amount and then settle the fund to 59 tag 59 there are some other information also carried over here like the charges and the remittance information so not only this uh, along with this we have so many other details or so many other messages which you can learn from uh, our swift payment course and the cost course cost is very minimal you'll be surprised with the course cost it is very less uh, which we are charging charging it so if you see here the course cost is only international rupees 5000 so here we have the swift payment course wherein you learn about swift empty messages which includes your mt103 all the mt1 categories and um, you have this mt2 categories and MT9 categories. If you want to know which all messages will be covered in this Swift payment course, and not only limited to your Swift um, empty messages, but there are other understanding from the payments, basic concepts, then at EGS, ACH, and then uh, uh, 
uh, banks architecture, RMA accounting, a lot of information is there in our course, which is around 20 hours. And it definitely will help you in terms of you to crack the interviews or to work in your current organization in a bank if you are already working, right? So for that, what you can do is you can do an inquiry to us by sending us an email, which is swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. If you are interested, just drop an email to us. To us. And other than that, we have uh, other courses as well. Uh, if you want to opt for this ISO 2422 as well, along with the Swift payment courses, wherein you learn about, so in Swift payment course, you learn about the Swift MD messaging and my ISO 2422, you learn about this MX messages, basically all your packs, pain and cash management messages. So altogether, there will be 40 hours of videos. And if you want to make a purchase for this, you can just drop us an email to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and the course cost or the videos for those is uh, around 40 hours of duration and only 12,000 you have to pay for that. So you can drop us an email to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and we'll get back to you with the necessary details and I'll we'll be explaining you how you'll be granted the access for the lifelong. So do utilize this and there are a lot of examples covered in our Swift courses. This is just one simple example. We have so many other examples for our MT103, almost uh, 15 to 20 examples for MT103, and same way for other um, messages as well. We have good number of examples for all the messages, but especially for MT103 and 202, we have good number of examples. So do subscribe and buy out our courses to understand more on MT103 and 202. Thank you all and I'll see you next time.